you want to see conspiracy? Let me show you conspiracy. And this has everything to do with what we're talking about, because if you take the power away from and pull the rug out from under Washington's district of criminals, which is a federal corporation, and I'm going to prove that to you in a second from their own U.S. code, 28 U.S.C. code 3002-15A. Do you know what the United States really means? When you say you're a citizen of the United States, you know what you're saying? I am a citizen. I am an underling. I am a subject of a federal corporation. Do you want to rethink that citizen thing? Do you want to continue calling yourself a proud citizen of the United States? Let me go further. You know how people call us conspiracy theorists? Well, the U.S. federal code says that conspiracy is real. It's not a theory. And so they made a law that's pretty weighty that says if two or more persons conspire uh, would those two or more persons include uh, politicians? Yep. Law enforcers? Yep. Judges? Yep. Lawyers? Yep. Anybody. If two or more persons conspire to injure, oppress, threaten, or intimidate any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district, and the free exercise or enjoyment of any right or privilege secured to them by the Constitution or the laws of the United States, dot, 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 Guess what? They shall be fined under this title or in prison for any term of years or for life or both. And it's so serious, this conspiracy against rights things, that they may be sentenced to. Let's take a look at a working example of conspiracy against rights in action as demonstrated by the good apple Delaware State Troopers. I see now we're going to have problems with that guy. Oh, yeah. But after a while, he's going to do something stupid. He's going to do something stupid. He got his kid in the car. That's 18 USC 241, which is the, com the companion to that is 18 USC 242. It's got a little bit different language, but it's more all encompassing. It says whoever judges, yep. Lawyers, yep. Politicians, yep. Law enforcers, yep. Whoever under the color of any law and who would do that? Oh, law enforcers under the color of law. I'm going to take your right away under traffic law. That is deprivation of rights under color of law. If you lose your rights during a traffic stop, you've been deprived of your rights. If you've been deprived of your rights under the color of traffic law, then the person who initiated that deprivation is in violation of 18 USC 242. And if he goes back to his cruiser and talks to his buddy, how they're going to take away your rights, they're in violation of 18 USC 241 and they're conspiring against your rights. And they're doing all of this under the federal corporation called United States. And it's all in their federal code. That's 28 USC 300215A, 18 USC 241, and 18 USC 242, which says whoever under color of any law, statute, ordinance, regulation, or custom, even a custom. You know, it's our custom that uh, you should have a driver's license, a fishing license a marriage license, a hunting license. What is a license? A license is permission for people who don't have the right to grant you permission so that you can do things that you have the right as a human being to do without asking for permission. If you're free, free men don't ask for permission to do anything. If you have to, you're not free. So what is a license? It's the permission slip of the government. If they're licensing and limiting and regulating your ability to do something in freedom under your rights, not under the First Amendment, did you know that you have a right to freedom of speech without the First Amendment? Did you have, did you know you have the right to record or freedom of the press as long as you're not hurting somebody else? You have the right to do that because you got a beating 
heart in your chest? Did you have, you know, you have the right to keep and bear arms and that right shall not be infringed without, you know, if the second amendment ceases to exist tomorrow, you have the right. You don't have rights because we have the second amendment. You don't have rights because we, you don't have the right to be silent because we have a fifth amendment. The constitution doesn't give you rights. It just articulates and codifies the rights you already have because your rights are in the words of the declaration of independence, unalienable. What does that mean? It means no man gave them to you and no man can legitimately take him away from you if you're innocent. Therefore, licensing is not required. But when they say it's required, then they're depriving you of your right, your unalienable right. So how many times do you think the authorities Respect my authority. are depriving you of your rights? How many times a day do you think the authorities are conspiring against your rights? Step out of the car, please. Sir. How many times a day do you think the authorities are acting under the code of the United States, which means federal corporation? It's every day, every hour, every minute of the day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. That's the world we live in. That's our reality. Don't you dare say, or the land of the... Zip it, zip it, zip it. You're not brave. You're not free. You're in bondage. You're a slave. It's not the home of the free. It's the land of the fee. It's the home of the slave. That's our reality. And we need to do something about it. So if a law is unjust, a man is not only right to disobey it, he's obligated to do so. Why? Because the morality in his heart screams out against it. This is wrong. If you're from New York, this is wrong. It's wrong. How much more wrong could it be? So whoever, under the color of any law, name the law doesn't matter whatever color under whatever color of law that you're traveling under if you deprive somebody of their rights their rights their unalienable rights you you are in violation of this whoever under the color of any law statute ordinance regulation or custom willfully subjects any person and that's what you are if they do that you're a subject refer to the 14th amendment for that one Territory, commonwealth, possession, or district to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities. Did you know you have immunities? Did you know you have immunities? But guess what? The authorities who are supposed to be our public servants, who are supposed to be benefiting us, don't recognize our immunities, but we're supposed to recognize theirs. And we have to respect them. If we don't, then we get in trouble like little kids. You little kid, you got in trouble for this because we have immunities and you don't. When actuality, we're the ones that are supposed to have immunities. And they're the ones supposed to be serving us. But they don't. They conspire against us and they deprive us of our rights. And according to 18 U.S.C. 242, what is the remedy for somebody who would dare cross the line and violate your rights and deprive you of your rights? Oh, that's right. They shall be fined under this title or imprisoned for any term of years or for life or both or may be sentenced to D-E-A-T-H. It seems like it's pretty simple, man. It seems like it's pretty simple. We already know from the NAP Commission, just recapping, okay? From the NAP Commission and the Mullen Commission, there has never been a more widely recorded and reported crime syndicate than the New York City Police Department outside of Washington's District of Criminals. NAP Commission, Mullen Commission. And just to recap, in case you're joining us, the end result of the, Na uh, the Mullen Commission was corruption in the New York City Police Department. Today's corruption in the New York City Police Department is characterized by brutality, check, we got that documented, well-documented on our YouTube channels, theft, abuse of authority, and active police criminality. That's the NYPD, and that's the NYPD who's trying to convince you that this guy right here was an angelic hero who was just out there doing the job, keeping the New York City Americans safe from criminality when they were operating on the platform of criminality themselves. Hey, if you like these videos, maybe you'll like some of my others. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, grab one of these hard-hitting conversation starting designs you can get from the store. You can put on a shirt, hoodie, mug, hat, cell phone case, pillowcase, whatever you want. Become a channel member, but more importantly, know what your rights are and exercise your rights. If you don't exercise your rights, you will lose them. I will see you in the next video.